Let's talk about the St. Louis Cardinals. This is a franchise that's been around for over 140 seasons. Yeah, this franchise was founded like 20 years after the American Civil War ended. This is one of the most storied franchises in baseball with 11 World Series championships, their most recent coming in 2011 when they beat the Rangers in seven games. And since the start of the 21st century, the Cardinals have been one of the most successful teams in baseball, making the postseason in 16 of the last 24 seasons. Now, obviously, 2023 was not a great year for the Cardinals. I don't think a lot of people expected them to play as poorly as they did, but they've already made some moves going into the offseason for 2024. And who knows what the NL Central is going to look like going forward. It's going to be interesting to see what the Cardinals can do. Now for this video, I'm going to be playing another content creator who also happens to be a Cardinals fan. And it's Twin Gaming TV, or sorry, Alex from Twin Gaming TV. Yep. What's up, dude? Hi, Cooks. How you doing, man? Hi, everybody. <laughs> I have I have two questions for you. One, since your name is Twin Gaming TV, how often do you get mistaken for like a Twins fan as opposed to a Cardinals fan? Honestly, all the time. I, I think more people at this point might think that I'm either a Twins fan or a Brewers fan than a Cardinals fan. Oh, because you live up in, in Wisconsin, right? Yep, and people are always asking where I'm from. And so obviously, 2023 did not go well for the Cardinals. Um, I want to know, you know, they, they signed Sonny Gray. They made some moves with, with some pitching. Do you have any expectations for 24? Do you think they're going to flip it around, or do you think it's going to be more of the same? I got high hopes, but I'm also kind of a little bit hesitant. You know, just after last year, I thought going into the season, we were going to make more moves, and we've kind of made at this point in time more moves than i was expecting so i think i got high hopes i don't know if i'm expecting a division win but i think we can make the playoffs especially in our division man i feel like the central is a little bit weak all right so i think i'm ready to go are you rocking an all cardinals team or are you rocking a god squad what do you got i got i got a bit of a cardinals team there's some extra players on there too you know some special additions all right should be yeah, a good one man Let's get into it. So this is the all-time Cardinals team I have for MLB 23. First up, it does feel a little bit weird not having Yadier Molina or Albert Pujols on this team anymore. But as far as replacements, Mark McGuire's pretty good. And Joe Torre can play catcher. So honestly, it's not the end of the world that we lost those two guys, but it still feels a little weird not having them on here. I have Paul Goldschmidt and Matt Carpenter on the right side of the infield with Ozzie Smith and Nolan Arenado on the left. The outfield, I have Lou Brock, Jim Edmonds, and Stan the Man. I was thinking about starting Matt Holiday over Jim Edmonds, but when you look at the both of them together, I, I started to lean towards Edmonds. The rest of the bench is Keith Hernandez, Tommy Edmond, and Nolan Gorman. In the rotation, I have Adam Wainwright, Bob Gibson, Michael Waka, Lance Lynn, and Jack Flaherty. And the bullpen has plenty of Cardinals talent with Ryan Helsley, Trevor Rosenthal, Lee Smith. You got Gallego, Suter, Mike Mayers, Jojo Romero, and Eckersley. Unfortunately, this bullpen only has one lefty, which kind of sucks. And I am using the Gallego's Tier 3 Captain Boost. All right, it's an Adam Wainwright matchup. I decided to start Adam Wainwright for this video over Bob Gibson because Adam Wainwright is most likely not going to be in MLB the show next year with you know 2023 being his last season and I would assume Bob Gibson will be in the game next year so I'm going to use Adam Wainwright as the starter because this might be the last time we can do it for a while. 3-2 count to start the game. Let's go cutter low and away. Ooh, got the strikeout already. By the way, I should probably mention, I am wearing an Angels jersey. I know that seems weird when I'm doing the all-time Cardinals, but this is the Albert Pujols Players Weekend jersey that has the machine on the back. Easy play, Ozzy. Two strikes on show. Hey, come on. Got him. Solid first inning for Wayno. Blue! Damn, he hung a curveball first pitch. Really want to try to score early here, man. The five-game winning streak was snapped in the last video with the all-time Nationals. Didn't miss it by that much. I'm just trying to get back on the right track, and I'm trying to do that earlier rather than later. Oh, no, dude. I thought for sure that was going to be a strike. Well, that's a strong start for Wayno on both sides. I'm going to go in with a sinker here. Jim's not making that catch. All right, that's the first hit. We can actually turn this. 61 speed going to first. Double play. That's the exact type of contact I was looking for. Early on the cutter away, perfect pitch. I'm going to go cutter away again on Tyler O'Neill. Another 
Easy play for Ozzy Smith. Oh. I'm literally looking for an inside pitch and I'm still late. Shift. God dang it. Decent swing, but yep, not good enough. Gotta go oppo with that. Only one base runner in this entire game so far through two innings. 3 2, I'm going with a change up. <laughs> got him. Finally, I got the strikeout on the curveball. Really trying for another double play here. Weak contact. Keep that cutter away, sinker down. Something like that. Oh, Bueno, he's painting. I missed my spot so bad right there. I am beyond lucky that twin didn't capitalize. Come on, got to find a way. I've only seen 15 pitches. I got to I got to work some counts here. Get up the middle. Get up the middle. Let's go, Jim Edmonds. That was like a 10 pitch at bat too. That's exactly what I needed. No. Yeah, no, I, I swung. I swung. I definitely went around. That was horrible. If there's anybody to throw something over the middle to, it's Ozzy Smith. And that's not going to do anything. All right. Man, neither one of us came prepared to hit today. Okay. Hopefully we can get a double play right here. Shohei is going to be tough to double up. Oh, that cutter was so sick. Yes, thank you. Striking out Otani and Mark McGuire back to back. Come on, we just got to get Gorman and we're out of this. Three, two, I'm going sinker up and in. Well, he shouldn't get to third here, so that's fine. Got to be smart here, man. I think this is the first time a runner has gotten on second base in this game. Popped him up. Huge pitch on Tyler O'Neill. That's going to be four shutout innings for Adam Wainwright. God, man, I've just missed a couple of these. Gotta get the PCI there, man. Come on. Great pitch. I mean, that's just a perfect sinker. Gotta defend. Yeah. Timed it up well. Just didn't get it. Man, we've got a pitcher's duel with the all-time Cardinals. I really thought I was gonna hit well with this offense. But both Twin and I just seem to be dialed in with Adam Wainwright. I don't know. We're both locating pitches. We're both keeping each other off balance. We'll just have to see what gives. Got it. Jim Edmonds is there. Oh, Joe Torrey, don't do this to me. Better make that play. Thank you, Joe. That's fine. There's two outs. I'm not worried about that runner at all. I'm going to go back to the pitch that worked on Otani, the cutter, high and in like this. Okay. Okay. Still worked. Okay. Okay. Lead off base runner. Come on. Please. No. Oh my God. Why is it impossible to hit right now against Adam Wainwright? Three. Nope. Bro, this is actually wild. We are both throwing shutouts with the same pitcher. <laughs> and I am going to get the pen warmed up right now just because... He has gotten guys to second base in back-to-back -back innings, so I do want to be careful. I'm going to warm up Lee Smith and uh, I guess Jojo Romero because he's the only lefty I have. And Shohei is out of the game. He's going to Freddy. Wow. By the way, yeah, I'm warming up Lee Smith, and I know Lee Smith has that new card that just came out, but I'm recording this with Twin on Thursday, and I think that card comes out Friday. So as of the time I'm recording this, that card's not in the game yet. But with the captain boost, he basically is that card anyway. 0-2 on Freddy. I'm going to go circle change, low and away. Oh my god, I really thought that was a home run at first. Goldie? Goldie? MVP? Now this is very reminiscent of the all-time Red Sox video and the all-time D-backs video. Okay, Joe, that's the swing I like to see. More of that, please. Confident on an inside pitch, righty, righty. That's what I need. I told you guys, I, I'm going to try to hit a home run every time. It doesn't matter who the hitter is. Honestly, I should have tried to bunt right there with Ozzy. That was a fun animation for Wainwright. Wainwright. 
I actually got to third. Oh my God, a base hit, please. That's all I need right now. Rio, I kind of want to go green light. Nope, nope, nope. Base is loaded for Big Mac. Why are you the way that you are? There's no way that I post these videos on YouTube and people actually continue to watch them when I hit like that. It was a good pitch, don't get me wrong, but that's a pitch I have to lay off. There's just no excuse for swinging at that. Honestly, I don't love Mark McGuire's swing in this game. I really wanted to hit with Stan in that spot, but obviously he gave me no strikes. That's just kind of a unfortunate spot to be in. Make a play, Carpenter, out a baby. What a read from Stan. This is probably gonna be the last batter for Wayne right here. Yeah, that's gonna be a double. He's just about at 100 pitches. I think now is the time to get him out of the game. And that's gonna be it for Adam Wainwright, dude. That's the last time we'll see him in the all-time Cardinals for me for probably a while, unless MLB The Show wants to add him to the game next year. That's probably the last we'll get. Hopefully he can keep the shutout and Lee Smith does his job here. And Lee Smith did his job perfectly. Come on, man. We got to win this for Wainwright. He wouldn't be awarded with the win or anything, but still, send him out on a good note. He just continues to locate well, man. Oh, we're... Did that just happen? Yeah, rob that one, Paul. I, dude, I thought I was gonna be all over that. Oh my God. This is crazy, bro. How is Wainwright this difficult right now? I do have some big hitters coming up in the bottom of the eighth. I just really wanna keep this at zero, zero right now. Perfect pitch, Lee. I'm actually gonna go above the zone with a four seam this time. Got him, 99. Beautiful, man. That fork ball is one of my favorite pitches. Come on, offense. We have got to help out this pitching staff. They've thrown eight scoreless innings. Let's go. Please, no double plays. Ooh. Oh. Cur Curveball belt high? What? Dude, this is embarrassing. I cannot hit the ball right now. Similar to the all-time Red Sox, if we're gonna win this game, it's gonna have to be via a walk-off. At least with the all-time Red Sox, I had a few opportunities during the game with guys on base. I've only had like one shot in this game with guys in scoring position, really. It has been an abysmal game at the plate for me. Oh God. Lou Brock is not getting there. He's going to have a leadoff guy in scoring position. I'm fine pitching around Mark McGuire right here. Yeah, that's fine. He can take first base. I'm going to face Nolan Gorman. I am going to bring in a lefty, though. Actually, Gorman has reverse splits. I don't know if that's the move. I actually still think Lee Smith might be the best shot or might be the best matchup for me right here. Double play. Yes, please. One more out. Come on. If I get this out, I'm winning this in the ninth. I feel it. That's a great swing. Well, I shut down Twin for 26 outs, and then he scores three with two outs in the ninth inning. <sighs> All right, see if we can fight here in the ninth. Come on. <laughs> There's just nothing I can do about that. Yeah, that is, uh, I don't exactly remember what I did with the D-backs. I know I got shut out in that video, but I can't remember if I had, like, a lot of opportunities to score, but that that's definitely right there with the D-backs for, you know, worst offensive performance in all-time teams so far. Dog, how do I get shut out with this offense? With, with Arenado, Maguire, Joe Torre, a card that I love, Stan the Man. I couldn't score one awful game. Cardinals fans out there, I owe you a huge apology. And I hope you can forgive me for that atrocious performance. I feel like I need to take a shower, dude. I feel like I have this, this awful stench on me that needs to be cleaned.